A Portsmouth MP is backing a campaign to stop a gay man being deported to Uganda. Liberal Democrat Mike Hancock says the East African state is conducting an appalling witch hunt and Robert Seganwi would be in real danger if he was not given asylum. Our political editor Peter Henry reports. He can't run to anybody, even the government. On the phone trying to get news. Friends of Robert Seguanyi say he'd be in real danger if he was sent back to his native Uganda. The 32-year-old claims he was tortured by police using molten plastic. His crime was to admit to being gay, something increasingly condemned as un-African and un-Christian in Uganda, where military conflict with the Lord's Resistance Army is putting the government under severe pressure. They put you in a prison, no judge, they, they, they don't judge you, they don't take you to court, nothing. A UK immigration court, however, has rejected Mr. Seguanyi's case, and he was within hours of being deported when I spoke to him this afternoon. They say I'm not the gay, but I try to prove to them that I'm gay. That's the problem, mm. isn't it? It's difficult yeah. to prove that you're gay. Yeah, but all my friends, they gay, they try to write to them later and they never believe me. John went down the same route, initially deported because British immigration officials wouldn't accept that he's gay. He's now a care worker in Southampton. If someone has enough evidence to prove that they are gay people, then I don't see why they are treated the way Robert has been treated. Despite protests in Portsmouth, tonight the UK border agency said if legal efforts failed, Robert Seguanyi's removal would be pursued as a matter of priority. Peter Henley, BBC South Today.